templates, why you should be using them and why they save you so much time. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working With Todoist. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I'm going to show you why Todoist templates can save you so much time and can keep you focused on the things that are truly important. But before we go into Todoist I would just like to ask you if you do like this episode please click on that like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet Ooh, please subscribe. Okay, let's go straight into Todoist this week and I'll show you everything you need to know about templates. So here I have set up, because I wanted to save time, uh, my online course template. Now actually I do use this template. This is something I do use and I have a copy of it saved as a CSS file in my um, templates online course folder so I can actually just import this particular template every time I want to create a new online course. Now essentially my online course template is divided into four sections because I've got a pre-production, I've got production, post-production and finally marketing and so it actually falls into those nice four things. So what I've got here is underneath I've got all the tasks that are related to the pre-production so write house objectives, create numbers file which is uh, for the file lesson plans where I keep all the details on the lessons that I want to teach, write out the full lesson descriptions which is really important when I'm putting together the course, review the lesson plan and then prepare any slide deck that slides that need to go with it. So that's my pre-production and I'm not going to be moving to production, post-production or marketing until those are done. Once they're all checked off and you can just check them off like this, see they just grey out when you check them off so that's all done nicely. Um, that's are really uh, I can then move on to the next stage which is the production stage. Now the production stage is schedule a recording day. I need a whole day to actually record an online course so I need to make sure I have no classes that day so I can spend the day in my studio and replace my Rode uh, microphone uh, batteries because it's an all-day recording session and I want to make sure that the batteries don't run out halfway through recording and then create the course file structure on the hard drive so that's a hard drive that I post all my I put all my videos etc the raw videos everything goes in there post-production scheduled day for editing because it's going to take all day to do the editing I write the course description uh, course create the course images and thumbnails and upload the course to the my learning center so and then the marketing comes into it at the end of that so as I go through each stage I can keep these subheadings closed as I'm actually doing the online course so it's a really good simple easy to follow project now the thing is I do several courses a year so I want to be able to come back to this I think there's about uh, maybe 30 tasks involved in creating an online course so I don't want to have to write them out all the time so what do I do well if you go to the three dots up here this is what's called the project actions if you click on that you can export as a template so when you go click on export as template you have two options you can export it as a file so I can click on the export as a file and it will just boom off it goes into my um, into my downloads folder and I can use that. Now that's actually a CSS file so you can click there there's a CSS file dropped in there that's actually not the one but it is a CSV style not a CSS sorry do apologize I'm not completely au fait with all these technology terms. The other option that you have when you export as a template is to export as a shareable URL. Now this is really cool because what you do is you copy that to the clipboard done text copied. Okay now I'm using my demo account to show you this. Let me just show you from my, um, so I'm going to Todoist, my, this is my regular Todoist and I'm going to create a new project so we'll just add project down here and I'm just going to call this a new online course. So we click that, create the project, go back up to here, project actions and import from template. Drag and drop file here uh, or select one from your computer. So uh, I can use this, so what I can do is go into my CSS file here 
and uh, online so I can just drag that in there and bang it's gonna come and it's gonna go and there you go that's now uploaded and put into my focus there now the other thing that you want to be able to do is uh, I gave you the, uh, the <laughs> I gave you the shareable URL well what we can do is I can create a new uh, folder here click in there and hit return and course online use this template will be added to your project list now this is going into my demo account because I'm logged in on my demo account so now I've got two if you're going to here you'll see I've now got two online templates oh there's 24 tasks in each one so if you're going to use the online version make sure that you are logged into your account online in order to do that uh, I find that the easiest way is to create the CSV file and then save that in my uh, online course folder which I have on one of my hard drives and then I can just boom straight away click that click that and now it comes so that's how you can create and manage your templates so if you find that you've got a project that you're using on a regular basis and that you want to uh, keep it for other projects that you're going to use that are very similar then I would say that the template functionality in Todoist is the way to go so remember it's in the project actions section here which is on the top right and you click on that and you can import or export from template so there is what you can do so remember import from template means that you need the CSV file uh, if you're going to use the URL that you saved then you need to go into your website uh, web version of Todoist and then you can import it from there. Okay, hopefully this has given you some wonderful ideas about how you can use templates in Todoist and it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you for watching this video. Now, if you want to take your productivity to a higher level, then get yourself enrolled in my 2019 edition of Your Digital Life 2.0 online. It is a complete, comprehensive productivity and time management course, and it's a course that will take you to levels of productivity you have only ever dreamt of before. It shows you how to build your very own COD system, collect, organize, and do. It shows you how to create the folder structure, how to build into your, your goals, into your daily to-do list. It has everything. And not only that, you will get a free copy of Your Digital Life 2.0, the book. You also get a free workbook and you get access to all the slides that are used in the course. It is incredible value. I want to see you in that course. If you are serious about becoming productivity, then please join me in Your Digital Life 2.0, 2019 edition. Thank you very much for watching this video.